What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow FM20 series where we look at some young players on Footman 2020 and see how they get on over the course of their careers. For players I look, I'm curious about and players that you give me in the comments section. So today's player is Yusuf Demir, a young 16 year old Austrian striker from Rapid Vienna. Um, already got 15 finishing so great start already. Um, so yeah, if you've got a player you want to look at guys, feel free down below, leave a comment on that player. I would ask you to do two things though on that. Um, first of all, look at the playlist first, make sure your player's not been done already. And also leave as much info on that player as possible. Especially if he's in the obscure league or South America for example, where maybe he's got a few players got called Romero or something like that. Or he's got a few players with the exact same name. Um, so yeah, more info the better. It makes it easier for me to narrow it down and find him easier. So, first of all. Um, 16 years old on youth contract wanted by Bruce Dortmund on transfer because they shot as great strikers out there at the moment. Um, they got Haaland, but you know he, he's not that great, is he? Let's be honest. Um, so yeah, um, 15 finishing, full composure, decent, good pace. Well, I say decent, great pace for 30 for 16 year old, punching striker, no player traits. So first jump, let's go. Well, folks, he's at Palace and he's already got. Good start. 16 finishing, 16 first touch, 15 composure, and 16 pace and agility. Runs both on the left hand side, but he's very one position. He's very even a striker, so ignore that player. Trying to wise up that player trait on there for. I suppose he could drift right wide, couldn't he? I suppose, couldn't he? And then run down the right. I suppose he could do that. Um, <clears throat> very basic striker. Good at all, obviously. 16 off the ball as well. So, very much um, not a technical striker, just a iron out finisher. I wouldn't say he's like a. Um, complete forward, for example, but you know, um, looking pretty good. Injury record, have a look here. One injury there, that's for two months. Uh, injured in a match against Southampton, so and then the rest is pretty much okay, in my view. Contract information there is actually a release clause for Champions League clubs 55 million pounds and 33 if they um, get relegated. So, let's have a look at the career stats. So, he was up in Vienna. And got seven goals in 18 appearances. Went to Liverpool for £6 million. Didn't play first season at all. Didn't play second season much at all either. Apart from obviously non competitive football. Where he banged quite a lot of goals in 31 and 17. Went to Sp um, Spurs. To Palace for £10.5 million. First year got four goals. Next year he got 12. So I think this guy is a, must a bargain anyway. Just buy him. He's a bargain. You know. The stats there. The £10 million ish fee. Do it. Um, I would definitely buy him if I were you. Um, just as an option. Um, I, I think at 20 years old, very basic striker, a top team. If you really work at it, I think you can get a lot of goals out of this guy already. So, yeah, um, who wants him right now? Uh, Southampton. I also do apologize, guys, for the weird uploads um, this week. It's just been very difficult to record ahead of time. So, But next week, we'll do a little bit. Hopefully, this episode's going live Thursday for you guys. So, yeah, let's keep going. So, folks, he's now at Everton, and we've seen the finishing drop to 15, but still pretty good. 15 finishing compo and, and 16 composure, stat and the pace is still there. Um, I've got a sneaky feeling there's injury issue here, or lack of playing time, as to cause this one. Um, places shots and knocks both. But I, like that, I like that trait. Places shots. Um, trying to be more precise with them, just powering them straight near post, for example. At least in theory, that's what it, it, it's, indi it's indicating. Um, he's is he, is he one footed? He's reason why he's right foot. That's something I didn't check earlier. So that's interesting. So either side, you'd be pretty confident he'd be okay with it. Injury record. Um, another injury from a major injury um, for two months from a hip injury from impact from a fall. And then take out, let's go to the severity. Um, so the moderate ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, what I call decent level injuries. So again, it's all subjective, isn't it? Contract formation, no least clause and Everton deal. So what? how has he done here? So first year, he got four goals. We knew that. Then 12, 11, 8, 17 that season in championship, though, obviously. Obviously, I've got these in championship as well. And then Premier League got two. Um, so, hmm, I think he's been hindered by maybe dropping down on division, maybe. Um, maybe. Um, it's definitely possible, but still, stats are there. You know, the pace is good, the finishing is good as well, the composure is good as well, off the ball is good as well. Very basic striker, though. Um, but, yeah, you know, 
I think to the right club. Is he a top level striker for an elite club? Mm, maybe. But I think with a top league club, you have more options. But for a mid table Premier League side, for the right, definitely, certainly, a guy, a side that's tried pushing to Europe, you could do with him as a mid backup option. So I think there's a place for him. I always reference Premier League guys because his league I manage him more and watch more. So maybe like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a club. Um. Maybe like a Southampton, something like that, if you can get him cheap enough and build him through, you know, could be really good for you. Um, or maybe even Everton, like we are here, and maybe a, a Wolves as backup option, maybe. For Cotrone, if you ever sell him, for example, or, or something like that, if, you know, but I wouldn't necessarily guarantee for Wolves. But you know what I mean? That kind of side of pushing, trying to get forward, but maybe can't afford like, the, the ultimate gems in world football uh, on the game. Again, thinking about the game, not IRL. Um, so, yeah. Continue. He's on. Oh, actually, just not. He's on transfer list for twenty million pound. So we might get a bargain there. Let's find out who. So he's moved to Nice and finishing up again to sixteen. Pace has stayed the same. Flair sixteen. Composure sixteen. Off the ball sixteen. Same player traits. Um. So this guy is <clears throat> consistent in terms of stats. Not you know, after the finishing change slightly. Injury record. Have a look at a glancing view. Much better now since that ten two month injury. Ten month injury. Two month injury. Contract lease clause, anything in there, nothing at Nice. So let's have a look how he's got on. So Everton bought him, barely played him. Went to Nice that season, playing 10 games. Guessing Johnny, guessing with Johnny transfer, maybe. Maybe not. Um <clears throat> actually yeah, I think it might have been. Um and then is it rising to anything? Nope. Then eleven goals and then six. So interesting. The stats would indicate for me that you should be getting more than that. But then again, we're not look but, but, but then again, you're looking at the, I think this is his prime. I think we can actually say this now. I don't need to go back at any point. This is gonna be his prime. If you only get better than this, the pace is solid. 16, 16, 16, uh, six foot two. Um so yeah, I think get him early on, <clears throat> and maybe don't get relegated with him. I think maybe get more out of him. We'll go forward again for another four years and see how this plays out. But um yeah. Cheap, solid striker, good finish and composure. Not much negative for a team moving on a budget. So guy's still at Nice, and arguably, this is actually his prime, prime, but it's not really, is it? Because it's because of composure up to 17. Um, <clears throat> and injury record. We'll check on that. Um, again, it's all pretty subjective on this. I mean, there's quite a few major injuries there, but again, that's maybe just the way it's done in this save. He can play anywhere now in the midfield areas, but not great in the wide areas. So, um, 11 goals. Then 6, 5, 8, 8, and 7. It is weird, this one, because the composure and finishing is there, and the place of shot is there. I just don't get why he's not getting more. But then again, maybe he's getting more in your saves. But definitely worth buying. You know, the fees, maximum fees paid is 12.75 million. He's not bad. He's pretty good for that fee. I think it's definitely worth looking at. Um, maybe not for like a Man United or a Man City, but maybe the second tier. Yeah, definitely. If you're looking to build a side um, and don't want to spend much money on a player, and you know, I think definitely could get a lot of him. I like him, um, and I think he's definitely worth the punt for a small club, big club. Even if you just sell him on for a profit, he's worth having around as me because he could have come. He could, in your say, he could become fantastic. We've seen guys. I've seen, I've done reviews before, and people have said, "Oh, dude, he's been sick for me." He didn't know what happened in this review, so maybe it's one of those guys where, in your save, he's brilliant. If you've signed him yourself, or you've seen him in your save, just let me know how you have we got on, guys. I'll see you in the next episode. I don't know when it's going to go live. It's difficult to record right now. Um, <clears throat> it's going to be due to work and what have you, but I will do my best to get an episode live for Saturday. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye.